boys and girls, sometimes the things we eat may not always be what they seem. Take for instance this butternut squash. You wouldn't believe it. it looks kind of like a plain little vegetable, right? Let's see what happens when we take this vegetable out to the street and give it a splat. Come here. Ready? First of all, we talked a little bit about how summer squash has the soft outsides. Butternut squash, can you hear that? Super hard, right? Here we go. What we're gonna try and do is open this up so you can see the color and the texture of this vegetable. Here we go. Whoa, we did it! Okay, now right off, can you see that amazing orange color? Remember how we talked about carotene and the antioxidants and phytonutrients that come from this? Join me inside and we're gonna show you so many fun ways to get butternut squash in your diet. Plus, we'll talk about the word of the day. So butternut squash is so nutritious that Native Americans used to bury it with their dead. Can you believe it? Now, there's so many different ways to eat butternut squash, but the most important thing, our word of the week, is vitamin A. Now vitamin A is not only good for your skin and for your eyes and all that kind of stuff, but as we get towards winter time, vitamin A helps protect the cells from any germs that wanna get in there, like the cold and the flu virus. Isn't that amazing? What it actually does is it thickens the mucous membranes, whether it's your eyes or your nose or anywhere that germs want to get into your body. Vitamin A helps to thicken the mucous membranes to be able to provide this defense system to be able to keep germs out. So the more vitamin A you eat, the better. Now remember, just one cup of squash. So say you want to buy, say you want to buy butternut squash in a package or a big one like this. Remember the one that we cracked? Now you can actually cook the entire butternut squash. See how I just poked holes in it and I put a whole squash right in the oven and it's going to cook in maybe 50 minutes on about 400 degrees depending on your oven. Now, one handful of this squash is a serving. So can you imagine this week trying to get maybe two or three servings? The amazing thing about squash too is with vitamin A, it has over 300% that you actually need. So instead of just a cup, maybe even eating a half a cup is all you need for the day. It is so packed full of vitamin A. The other thing is that gorgeous color. Remember we talked about the carotenoids? It's so full of vitamins and minerals, you're gonna love it this week. Not only that, but it's naturally sweet. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut up a few things. We're gonna use these that are already cut up. You can buy these in the store for maybe $2.50, or you can buy this entire butternut squash for about $1.50. Now this will probably feed maybe 10 people. This maybe three or four. So you kinda have to pay for convenience, but this works just as well. So I'll show you two different recipes. I'm gonna cut these up and I'll show you what they look like on the pan. All right, so it's super easy with the squash that's already cut up, or if you want to cut the squash out of here, you just cut the sides off of this squash, cut it down the middle, remove the seeds, and chunk it up into little pieces, right? Once you have, just throw it on the pan. Now, I had some extra carrots and some zucchini that I thought would be fun to cook at the same time. The nice thing about roasting vegetables is it doesn't matter what you roast together. They're all gonna be delicious, right? So say you wanted to add something and maybe cook something for Thanksgiving or a holiday or some family dinner, it's so easy to be able to buy your favorite vegetables, throw them on a pan, and cook them all together. They're delicious. So we actually found purple carrots and just a regular carrot bag from Trader Joe's. Aren't these amazing? It's just the most beautiful carrot. Outside is, is purple, and the inside's um, kind of a white, kind of a whitish yellow. Super nutritious as well. Then we got the zucchinis, and I tried to cut them about the same size as the butternut squash. If everything's cut about the same size, then they'll cook evenly. Okay, the last thing I'm gonna add is some trusty, delicious onion. Now same thing here, is I'm gonna cut them kind of about the same size so that they can cook at the same temperature and speed as the others. Now, I'm just gonna try and put these onions all over, have them cook right along, adding lots of delicious flavor. Okay, last thing, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil, our best healthy fat, okay? And then, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of salt, and a little pepper. Okay, now, because we kinda like the flavor of lime in our family, I'm just gonna use a little bit of lime flavor. It adds a delicious little kinda nummy zest. Woo, that onion is definitely working, woo. All right, so I'm gonna mix these around with my hands. Can you just imagine them using this? 
during the Thanksgiving feast, all these nummy, delicious root vegetables, and they come out just soft and golden brown. Okay, they're ready to roll. I'll show you what they look like when they come out. Oh, this is done. Look how beautiful this looks. All these amazing colors, purple and green and orange. And those onions have kind of almost turned clear. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is take this, get a little spatula, put it on our plate. And these are so soft, they're like scraping off. This is amazing. They're like falling right off. Now the squash, actually, I, I am having to scrape a little because it got so browned and delicious. It stuck a little bit to the pan. Whoa! Okay, now remember how easy this was. Cut it up, stick it in the oven, and let the magic happen. I'm gonna put that right there while we stir this up. Now watch what we're gonna do. Oh, this looks so pretty. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of Parmesan right on top. It already has a ton of olive oil, so I'm just gonna put some Parmesan right on top of it. And again, remember, just grilled vegetables, olive oil, salt and pepper, and you are ready to roll. And there is an awesome dinner for a holiday or for your friends or for your family or whatever you want. So that's a really fun way to eat squash. The other thing is, once you've cooked squash like this, it's super easy to put it in a blender or even put it in a bowl and mix it up, add a little bit of half and half or cream, and you have butternut squash soup. It's incredible. Now, along with this in the oven was our whole squash. You remember it started out like this, and after 50 minutes, remember I poked a few holes in it, 50 minutes, let's cut it open. Look at that, peels right off. Let's cut it open and see. Oh, oh it's so soft in there, I could have done it with my hands. Check that out. Isn't that incredible? Now, just like we have with other squashes, you can flavor this to be sweet or savory. Remember the sweet potato? We did a little bit of the brown sugar and the butter, right? Same thing here. Scoop the seeds out, put a little bit of brown sugar in it, and you have such a delicious meal. You could keep it right in here and just eat it with a spoon or pull this all out, just like this. Pull this all out, put it in a pan, add a little bit of brown sugar. Wow, this is warm. Add a little bit of brown sugar and you are ready to roll. There's so many fun ways to eat squash. Join me outside and we'll do a fun little exercise with squash for yoga. So when you're ready, stand up, push your chairs in and let's do our yoga breathing. This time let's do ladder breath. We haven't done that in a while. So come all the way down. You can even get on your tippy toes if you'd like. Let me turn sideways so you can see. So we can do this or if it's easy, come up on your tippy toes, right? We're gonna take 10 breaths all the way up to the top, just like you're climbing a ladder. You ready? Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Hold it. And exhale back down. <laughs> nice job, let's try it again. See if you can fit as much air in your stomach as possible with each step. Here we go, inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And exhale back down. Nice job. Okay, one more. Here we go. Inhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And exhale back down. Nice job. Way to go. All right, last week we did some burpees push ups, some yoga burpees push ups, right? Now we're going to do something called chair pose. What I want you to do, put your hands on your hips. I want you to imagine that you're going to be sitting in a chair. Your hands are going to come forward. Now, if you can, lift your toes up just a bit. Reach the fingertips out. Take a big, deep, deep breath and inhale. Exhale. Now, immediately, right off, you should be able to feel a few muscles working to hold you up. Try to identify where they are. Are they here? Are they here? Are they here? Big, deep breaths. One more. Swing it down. Relax for just a minute. And come back up. Three counts here, inhale. Good, release it. And come back up for two. Good, reach those fingertips out and sit all the way down. Reaching towards your sit bones or to the mat or the floor. and release, nice job. I could definitely feel it in my quadricep muscles. 
Nice job. When you're ready, we're going to roll up one vertebra at a time. Inhale up. And exhale back down. Nice job. Now we're going to add a challenge to this. We're going to do something called computer pose. Okay, so you're going to bring the weight of your body into this left foot, just like we do when we do tree pose. Then you're going to take your right foot, bring it all the way out, and hold it here. Okay? Now if this is enough of a challenge, go ahead and stay here. If you feel like you can go a little bit deeper, take that right foot, put it kind of above the knee, and bend all the way down. So you're coming into chair pose again, but you've only got one leg. Okay? So remember the two keys. One, take your gaze to a place that isn't moving. And number two, be so quiet that you can hear the sound of your breath. Big deep breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Sit a little bit lower with each breath. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Come back up. We're going to try it on the other side. So this time, take the right leg, spread the toes really far apart, get yourself a good balance, and take that left leg out. Okay, big deep breaths here. When you're ready, place your left leg on top, or just above that knee. Not on it, not on the knee. You want to make sure you're up above the knee so it's not going to hurt it. Then reach the, finger, the fingertips out as your sit bones reach back behind you. So you're kind of going into chair pose as you reach out with those fingertips, then take a big deep breath. Now remember, if it feels too intense, just stand up a little bit more. If it feels like it can go a little bit further, go ahead and sit down. Nice job. Two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Stand back up and release. Okay, we have two more in the front, and then we'll go to daydream. Here we go. Inhale up. Exhale, fold forward. Good. Wrap your peace fingers around those big toes and pull your chest closer to your legs and release your neck just for a good stretch here. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, when you're ready, sit bones come all the way back, reach the arms forward, find that chair pose, and breathe. Two more. And exhale, nice job. Okay, go ahead and sit in crisscross applesauce. Now, if you have room to go ahead and lay down for daydream pose, that's fine too. You do whatever works for you in your classroom. Okay, when you're ready, because we just did butternut squash, I want you to imagine if you were a squash, what color or size or shape would you be? Would you be long and tall? Would you be round so you could roll? What would you be? But don't tell anybody, just think about it in your mind. Okay, so close all those other doors that want your attention and just think about that butternut squash and then see if you can hear your breath. So starting at your head this time, move your head side to side. Make your mouth and your eyes tight, tight, tight. Move it around. And then relax every face muscle. Moving into your shoulders, out through the arms. Rotate your wrists. And then relax them. Moving down through the stomach and into the chest. Make them tight, tight, tight. And then release them. Moving down through the legs and into the feet. Make them tight, tight, tight. And then relax. You have two minutes. Let's see if you can keep all those doors in your mind closed and quiet. They like to open. But you can go close them. Keep them closed while you try to focus. And just relax your mind. See if any muscles are talking to you. Or any muscles feeling tight, you can always adjust them. And sit up straight. Relax your arms. And go back to listening to the breath.
fingers and wiggle your toes. Move your head side to side. When you're ready, slowly open and close your eyes. Nice job. Let's take one final breath all the way up to the top. Here we go. I'm going to turn sideways so you can see. Here we go. Inhale. Hold it. And exhale back down. Nice job. Now remember, eat your squash this week and challenge your friends and family to do the same. Post it on Instagram. Go to Facebook. Whatever you want. Challenge your family and friends to eat butternut squash this week and tell us your favorite way to enjoy squash. See you next week on Yoga Me Do.